So this, this is the Dell XPS 15. Now it has a really bad problem where what it does is it throttles terribly. So we're going to try and fix that today. So if I just go run, just watch the CPU here. So this is this is default. This is not fixed. Also, I need to turn down the exposure. If I can figure out how to do that, that'll do. So watch the CPU here. Immediately, it's throttled to under. Yes, yeah, see, 200 megahertz. That's how slow it is, and you can see how slow this runs. This isn't even, this isn't even running. It's that bad. And we're at yeah 800 megahertz. It's awful. This is unusable. Uh, so we need to fix this. So I'll show you how to use throttle stop to do it, and then we'll go from there. So we'll switch over to screen capture because what I have is I have this. This I can plug my laptop into and we'll get a nice clean capture where you don't see my hand in the reflection. So you see it starts to slowly climb back up but overall it's running so slow and throttled so much that it's unusable and unbearable. So let's just get started. Okay I don't know whether this is going to work. Um, everything is supposedly recording on the device so we'll see how this goes. So. What we have is, you can see the bench doesn't run very well, so we need to open throttle stop. You can figure everything in here, and this will handle everything basically. Um, you, via the task scheduler, we can set up tasks to automatically run. So if we go, you can see I have one here, throttle stop, it says my user throttle stop, um, and then triggers, at logon, start the program, and yeah, just all of these, so blah blah blah. Okay, so now that we've got all that set up, so it starts that login. So we can go back to here and look at throttle stop. So most of the things in here are fine. Um, if you want maximum performance speed shift, that can be set to 1, uh, and that'll mean that it performs at its best most of the time. 128 is nice in the middle, so I set it to 0 because we want it to uh, perform the best it can. Um, then down here we go FLVR. See we're on the performance tab so first what I do is I set my turbo down these are all linked you see so you see 35, 33, 32 and 31 if I change this bottom one everything that gets brought up if I change this top one everything gets brought down so I set it to 30 so this is 2.99 gigahertz so just under 3 um, that makes the turbo boost work. Some people have reported 3.1 that works, so give that a try. So next what we do is we go into our control, CPU core, unlock the voltages and our offset voltage. I've managed to get 135. And then we can go into CPU cache. CPU cache and CPU core need to be the same. So same here, 135. You might find some instability, so just make sure that this is right. And then uh, Intel GPU and GPU unslice, I've managed to get about 35. So what we've just done is we've undervolted the CPU by 135 uh, millivolts, millivolts, megavolts, whoever knows what it is, MV. Um, and then we've set the turbo boost to limit itself to 2.9, um, so that should be fine everything else in here should be fine so we can just go apply next up some of the things in here that can be changed some of the things in here can be changed if necessary um, it really depends so if I just save that that will apply everything so all we've done is undervolt and limit the turbo boost so I press run again we should be aiming for about 15 or 1600 on here you see it runs at 2.9 so let's just r let that run and we'll see whether it throttles at all you see we're part way through the run now and we haven't dropped anywhere from 2.9 in throttle stop we can actually check and see it. if I go where is it on here limits you can see what's being limited you are still going to be limited but it's not going to throttle back to that 300 or 800 megahertz which is unusable you can see it actually is generally usable. Uh, let's just continue letting this run. You see it stays at 2.9 throughout. 
Okay, as you can see, we're almost finished, and I just got 1401. So it's not perfect, but throughout that, we actually run at 2.9 gig, uh, 2.99 gigahertz. We'll see what result we get. I might actually up it to 3.1 on every core to see whether we can get it to um, perform a bit better than 1401. You've seen before that I have got 16, um, yeah, 1612. I have got that before. So we'll see how this one runs. As I say, it's playing with these settings, but the main thing is that undervolt and then um, then limiting the turbo boost to actually work. So again, we'll try. We'll see whether this is pushing it too much or we'll see whether this actually runs. As I say, I think I can just about get 3.1, but we'll see as this goes. Checking in, it seems to be going 3.1, so this might actually be slightly better than my configuration last time. But we'll see how it we'll see how it goes, and we'll go from there. Okay, so it's almost finished, so we'll see how we get on. You see, 1585, which is more of what I'd expect from it. Um, so there we are. So that's how you do it. So you can see that now it's not immediately throttling to 300 megahertz, so it actually works. So yeah, um, this took a bunch of time to try and figure out. Um, you do have all these other settings, just ignore these. Um, so in here, you want to limit your turbo boost, do your undervolt, um, and then in here is your turbo boost numbers. So just, you can change these. I found it hasn't made the hugest of differences. And then limits will tell you what's being limited. You will still have power limits, but that's fine. And then you also finally have options when in here you can go start minimize so you don't see it when it starts the computer, minimize, uh, minimize and close, um, and you can set it in the video GPU as well. And then you just click close, and that magically works. Um, you can set up other profiles as well. So on gaming profiles, some people like to disable Turbo Boost entirely because they find that when it's trying to pa uh, pull power from the GPU and the CPU, it limits it more. So um, that's worth consider. You can set up a game mode, an internet mode, which you could limit it to something like 800 megahertz. In which case, um, you, know, you would get better battery life if you're just doing internet usage. You could do it like 800 or you know, maybe 1.6 gigahertz or something, just something slower, um, just to you know, get better battery life. Then you have battery mode, which again you might want to disable turbo boost, or you might want to just limit it to you know, a lower value just to get better battery life. But none of that is necessary. Um, I just use performance because I always, always unplugged into USB-C power. As you can see, uh, I was trying to give it this, the best chance here. Um, so yeah, that's that. We'll see you in the next one. I don't know what the next one will be, but this took ages because I couldn't get throttle stop to reset itself. Um, I spent ages trying to get it to reset and it was just limiting it to 3.1 even when disabled. So, good thing I got the start example. I hope this continues to work into the future and I hope the screen capture has worked, otherwise I'll be screwed.